Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Grandia. Okay, let's continue on. Got back to my the save point, and I saved and rested and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I did take care of a couple enemies, not down there, because that was where the treasure was. Uh, it was over here. I figured as long as I was coming over this way, I might as well take care of a couple uh, foes. It was just like right around here. And uh, wow, this that that goes like nowhere. All right. Wow, I was able to uh, hit the. Ah, uh, yeah, that's just a loop there. I was able to hit the uh, um, map point and uh, blow up the ice at the same time. Multitasking at its finest. Don't attack me, uh, thing down at the ground level. Thank you. Oh. You guys would patrol there, wouldn't you? Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. Ah, there's where the, uh, snowball was sent. Uh, let's see. We've got a little split here. Um, I think I want to go this way for not you. I see you up on top of that hill. You're, you're not going to attack me. I'm not going to let you. Exp charm. Holy cow! Run away! Alright, let's see what this uh, exp charm is. Plus two explosion resistance. Ah, oh, hey, we're getting uh, we're getting those kinds of charms now. That's pretty handy. I was thinking it might have been like experience charm, but at the same time, they don't usually make them charms. Fine, attack me. I don't think I can get around you. What is up with these guys' ribs, anyways? It's really odd. You know, I think we're almost out. So... We'll go for the ultimate in death. I'm gonna knock y'all down at once! Man, I miss ah, being able to do so right. many of those, uh... Splitters. So good. Hey, mace level up. Nice. No problem. Woo! Holy cow, that was a lot of experience for that. I think I got like 16 for each one of those. That's uh that's pretty amazing. Um You are close to going up a level with the sword, but I don't care that much. I don't know that there's going to be another enemy, although there might be. Oh yeah, there is. Alright, I don't have to fight him. Yep, we can just leave. Alright, Lane Village! Finally! After how many episodes, and to be fair, uh, three optional dungeons. I, I take no blame. It's not my responsibility. This here's the village of Lane. Purdy, ain't it? The men of Lane are real smart. Especially the three wise men. Ain't hardly no question they can't answer. Wanna ask them something? The three wise men, eh? Maybe they could tell us something about a Lent. Why is the water purple? Can they answer that? I think I need to know this before I dare drink any of it. The most important reason, because it's not Sunny D. Hello. Hey there, Mildy girl. Spring is just about just about over, and summer's short. We need to harvest all we can. This this is spring. You're the strongest woman in the whole village, girl. If you leave, who's gonna get the work done? The rest of you could pitch in more, work harder. What are you gonna do when she dies? When she gets old? I know, I know. Don't worry. I'm a little busy right now, but I'll clean up and start working. We's making preparations too, but hurry up, Milda girl, and give us some of that, some of your time for winter stocking. What? Why are you dressed like Santa Claus? To the Alpine Inn. 
Also, I want to point out that this is an alpine village. And Milda's running around in what amounts to a bra and a miniskirt. No one has issues with this, apparently. Maybe she just likes the cold, huh? I wish I had a map. Anything interesting up here? Doesn't seem like it. There's a very odd thing over the table. I am not sure if I want to, uh... Well, if it ain't Milda, what are, we, what are you doing here when you could be at home snuggling with Darlin? Hi, y'all. I'm back. Actually, I was on my way home. Um, hey, Justin boy. Is there anything to do before I see my Darlin? Uh, nah, we don't need to save right now. I did just save. Whew, Holland work. Holland work sure is tiring, but I've never been as bushed as this. <laughs> I never thought the stout ladies of Lane would ever get tired. You're kidding, right? Of course we get tired, just like anyone else. In Lane, it's only the men who don't get tired. The men of Lane will do things y'all wouldn't believe when they need to. Why, when we had to escape the lower village with monsters on our tails, they picked up the families, a mountain of books, animals and all, put them on their shoulders while mowing down monsters, cut through the forest, and brung us here. To the vacant house. C can, can, can I have this one then? Can I at least, can I have the axe that's dangling? I mean, maybe I can sell it for some cash. That's nice, right? Yeah. Wouldn't have an issue with that, right? Oh, for want of a river of Sunny D. To the shop by the water. Welcome to our dear, our shop, dear. But hey, it's a little narrow, dear. Little narrow, dear. But we got plenty of them good items, dear. Hey, I don't mind na neither if you want to check them out, dear. Okay, and you can sell me stuff too. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey. All right, so uh, we we left the Southerners outside and entered the Canadians in here. I don't know what's going on. Alright, so, block charm. Uh, M unblock. Uh, C earring, plus 10 attack, plus 3 move block resistance. Panacea, prime rib, salmon, resurrect. Lunch fire. Mmm, I love my lunch fires. Overnut, plus 2 attack level for one friend. Run nut, plus 2 action level for entire party. Sonic Nut, plus two action level for one friend, and Rest Nut, plus two defense level for one friend. Nothing really uh, all that interesting there. Um, oh, I do have a mana egg, but it's in storage. But no one can use any of this right now, so... Weapon-wise, what do we got? An Ice Pick. Attribute Blizzard. Well, silent sword that we just uh, found, a uh, warhammer, um, morning stir. I like my morning stirs. A buster axe, which is actually uh, pretty good damage. A split axe causes sudden death. But uh, yeah, nothing really fantastic. Of course, we do have uh, better stuff for wrap because the item that he's using right now is. You know, intentionally not powerful. Uh, mink coat. Uh, that would be better for Fina. Uh, ogre helm. Has horns. That would be better than the odd hat. Iron clog. Plus 13 defense, minus 20 move. I'm not going to get that. Ogre boot. Uh, plus 8 defense, plus 20 move. Demon shoes. That might be better. So that would be a boost to Rap's move. Uh, 
Oh, that should have been an equip. Oh well. Uh, I don't know. Uh, better than the chameleon armor. Yeah, let's uh, swap that. All right, yeah, not uh, not a whole lot uh, of interest here. Uh, again, I did go through the optional dungeons that had really good stuff, so you know. Really wish I had a map. Hmm. What's wrong, Milda? Did something happen, darling? What? What? It... It's a cow. Darling, 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 I missed you so, honey bunch. Oh. Well, he's a pretty good catch. Darling, I missed you so. So, this is... Darling, I missed those bulging muscles of yours so when I was... Yours so when I was away, I couldn't hardly sleep none. Fool us with that snoring. I mean, uh, um. Oh god, what kind of voice am I gonna give him? Oh, oh, I should have thought about this. Oh, it's gotta be kind of silly. Ah. Uh, hmm. Just sit here staring at those, uh, those, those hearts. While I try to think of a voice. Well, I missed you too, Milda. Without you napping next to me, I couldn't hardly read a line. But tonight we'll finally be able to have a nice dinner together. Alright, that, that that portrait takes on a whole new uh, meaning to me now. Together. T t together? Wait, you, you don't mean... Where are my manners? Y'all forgive me now. It's been so long, I just... Allow me to introduce you. This is one of the three wise men. My honey bunch sweetheart, Darlin. Darlin, these are my new friends. Justin, Fina, and Rap. Howdy, y'all. Thank you for taking care of my Milda. Welcome to Lane and our home. A talking bull? Oh, that's not Rap's voice. A, a talking bull? What a load of... Oh. Screen wipe. Well then, I reckon you're the ones who stopped the Tower of Doom. I speak for all the folks in saying we're in your debt, Justin, Fina, and Rap of Cafu. Don't mention it. We handle characters like that all the time, no problem. We've been trying to find out what was petrifying things, but we didn't know the Tower had a terrifying monster. Gaia, what is that thing? You and that Greedo feller said y'all ain't seen people in forest turn to stone. Ain't that right? Oh my lord! Then that might just have something to do with why the ancient Angelou disappeared from the land. Why, darling, these young'uns are on a journey to search for the ancient Angelou, ancient civilization of Angelou. Hmm, before we talk about Angelou... Something I've been meaning to ask. What's that stone you have there? This? It's called the Spirit Stone. It's a keepsake from my father. I knew it! The mythical Spirit Stone. It really does exist. I owe everything to it. My meeting with Liette, the quest for Lent, and look, I have the key, too! What? That metal! It's the key to the legendary Shrine of Angelou. A medal of wisdom! Uh, it, it's actually in my uh, stashing place, just FYI game. I don't actually have it on me. I'm glad it doesn't matter. A medal of wisdom. But it was never found. How can it be? It was Liette who told me to take this and come to a Lent. I never would have thought it. A spirit stone, a Liette, the medal of wisdom. 
Well, it's plain to see that y'all are the chosen one to go to Elen. Uh, go to Angelou. The chosen one to go to Angelou? Me? S seriously, Justin? Seems as it's our duty as the three wise men of Lane to teach you all we know about Angelou. It's the least we can do besides thanking y'all for saving the Kafu Forest. Justin boy, ain't y'all got some questions? C can you not zoom in? Get, like, in my face, please? Also, your breath smells. Uh, who are the Icarians? How can we help the petrified people? What's Gaia have to do with Angelou? Uh, I am not sure that it matters what order we ask in. I should probably double check that. Um. Okay, yeah, doesn't matter. Uh, who are the Icarians? We saw an Icarian in Cafu, a girl named Lean. Still not making this connection here, right, Justin? Now, just a minute, Justin boy. What did you just say? Did you say a carrion? So it's true. When the power of the spirit stones gathers in one place, there, sh there shall an Icarian be born. And I've seen another one, Liete. Two Icarians, Lean and Liete. But just what is an Icarian? Do we actually know that Liete is an Icarian? I don't know that we know that. Okay, okay, thank you. Now hold on there, Justin boy. Liete ain't no Icarian. Why, she's the pre priestess of the Shrine of Alent. I had no idea. Justin boy, ain't y'all got some questions? We thought we would find the answer once we got to Elent. But we could not get the key to open the door. Only the one worthy of receiving the key from Liete is able to enter. The one who is worthy. That's you, Justin boy. Y you mean, I'm the only one who can save these those people who are petrified? What's guy I have to do with Angelou? Ancient Angelou prospered thanks to a great power, but they were destroyed by that same power. I believe that it was a power that weren't meant for no human beings. A, a great power? Is it the Gaia? The Gaia? Is this like the Venus? Hmm. I believe this is a matter best answered by old Master Durlin. So, we have a Darlin, and we have a Durlin. Is there a Dorlin, a Durlin, and a Deerlin as well? He's the expert on Angelou history. I see. Well, let's go talk, let's go and talk to that, this Durlin guy. Hope all this has been of some help to you. Darlin, you said that I'm the only one who can go to a land. But how can that be? How do I get there? Tell me, tell me, Darlin! Haste makes waste, Justin boy. A time will come. You will be able to go to Elen. Because you're the chosen one. It's better not be like the chosen one of Fist of the North Star and I die at the end. I remember back, uh, I don't know how old I was. 15, 16, something like that. My neighbor and I rented Fist of the North Star. And I literally remember virtually nothing about it other than the extreme bodily explosions. And uh, we almost flipped the table when we got to the end of that movie. Ain't you a bear with athlete's foot? Calm down, boy. Darlin knows what he's talking about. I suppose you're right. Sorry, Darlin, Milda. Thanks. There's plenty to learn before you find the way to Elent. Rest yourself here a spell, boy. Talk to the other two wise men. You can have the house near the gate. Suppose y'all ought to see Durlin first. He's the wise man that knows about the wisdom of Angelou. Alright, let's go, boy. We're gonna see a lot of each other. Like it or not. You're coming with us? Just walk over your husband, why don't you? But there ain't no reason to hurry. Just like y'all gotta chew your food, y'all gotta take time to think to- You know, you don't have to chew your food if it gets uh, cut up or mashed or something like that first. Justin, y'all ought to listen to Durlin down yonder before you head out for Elen. Now, Durlin lives two doors down due west of here. It's the house with the axe leaning on it. Can't miss it. He's also got plenty of young uns whooping and hollering about. Is, is that what you... Well, I don't know what that is. Maybe I shouldn't ask. 
To Milda's bedroom. Oh my. Milda, you scare me sometimes. Well, moving on. Let's see who else we can talk to in town before we uh, talk to Derlin. Right there's old Derlin's place, two doors to the west. Y'all see an axe standing there? There's youngins playing in front. Can't miss it. That is that is a very strange goat. It's just like bobbing there. Look, a snowman. Children are the same all over. They make snowmen here too. But well, look at Milda's friends she brought. They're just kid. They's just kids. You hear that, Justin? Kid, some nerve! Well, don't y'all see we expect adults to look big like? Like Darlin', for instance. Mildegirl, didn't didn't y'all go to the Tower of Doom? What happened? With help from Justin and his friends, I gave them Doom Tower No Goods a, a lickin' they won't forget. Glad to hear it. At least maybe our petrified folks will rest a bit easier now. It's them what made a mess of the lower village and petrified so many of our folks. Wait, you're telling me that Kafu wasn't the only place they attacked? Yeah, it's kind of, uh, coming, coming to realize that, huh? Hello? Summer's coming soon so we can swim and pick flowers. It's a short season, but I love it. The men can study all winter and not get, not get bored, but for us women folks, summer's the most fun. For me, I don't care if I'm inside or out as long as I can be with my darling. When our short summer comes, we we have to enjoy it fully. Going swimming, picking flowers. I did not read what that building, what this building was. A barn. I am researching the Rapajulian Lane Volvolk. Actually, the name is such a pain to say. Most of us just say Rap for short. Hey, there's no way to. That's no way to talk about someone's name. Show some respect. Indeed, indeed. <clears throat> the the Rapajulian Lane Volvok are commonly called raps, uh, all right? Raps are known to be quite gregarious and to enjoy the company of humans. They are also highly intelligent. Also, they are quite resilient and survive under adverse conditions, making excellent domestic animals. That's rap, all right. Especially the resilient part. Wait a minute, Jess. I'm not... I'm not a car wax, okay? <laughs> Guess what its name is? It's a rap. Say hello to the rap. I'm out of here. Look, isn't he a good boy? Isn't he a good widow rappy wappy? Now I know how the Lanian women feel when they lose their tempers. <laughs> I didn't even notice you there, lady. There really is a problem with Lanian men. Mine will talk about... Mine will talk about some nonsense that don't mean a thing. I mean, researching raps, really. That's... It's not useful, you know? But come to think of it, I do like that brainy part of him. Kind of turns me on. Let's see if I can't do a bit more. After all, it's from my darling Yadrak. Well, at least he's not a Durlin or something like that. Or a Dorlin. How many other vowels can I do? To the blacksmith. Hello. Ooh. She's a cute outfit. When my husband gets to thinking, his breath can kind of can get kind of heavy. I kind of like that, actually. My darling's the same way. I have no idea what's on his sweet mind, but he goes a snorting. We have a little arrangement. He keeps the forge with. He keeps the forge with his snorting and I hammer the iron. Smart, huh? This is where all the farm tools are made. Of course, we can also make weapons, but that ain't too important. Why, because you just punch things? I'm gonna go with that. 
It's not enough to just have money. You have to know how to use it. Same thing with youth. Youth gives you opportunity, but that's not enough. What do you do with the opportunity? That's what's important. <laughs> wasting opportunity is the same thing as wasting money. It is. I'm not going to do that sound. those sounds again. Before I, like, you know, blow something out onto my microphone, that would be uh, unpleasant. You know, like a lung or a liver. Something, something like that. Is that a Mogay? Uh, no, I don't think it is. Look at what I did. I cut all this wood by, all by myself. Mama said she was so proud of me. She said she, this was enough for all next winter. I'll bet I'm the only one who can get the job done so fast. I, I guess, maybe? Hi, kids. Why, Madame Milda, how long has it been? I trust you are well. Why, Denley? Lose the madame part, boy. What has gotten into you three today? Linden is about to come of age, so we have decided to play as much as we can while we can. The first of us to come of age... Age Leardon, did you hear? That's our brother. What a guy, huh? I, I think there was a word missing in there. <laughs> Why, Linden, what's wrong? You look like a Mogay merchant in a bankruptcy court. What's happened? Um, um, something's wrong with my brother, Lurden. He talks funny and stuff. I know he came of age and all that, but I've never seen this before. Long time no see, Mildo. Where were you? Out somewhere? Why, it's Derlin's boy, Lurden. Y'all talking funny, boy. Why, you come of age, ain't you? Indeed I have. My horns have come in. By the grace of the spirits, I'll be of age shortly. Do you wish to speak to Father? I think he's busy with an experiment. Yeah, we'll get to him in a, in a few minutes. Actually, probably the next episode. Hey, look at that! See the one? See that one above Derlin's house? How he's looking down? That's supposed to be the boss of the village. He looks down on us from morning till night, watching over us. The the what? Who the what now? All right, I don't know. Can't go that way. House one, all right. I'm going to be a great wise man like Darlin and Derlin, so I'll have to study hard. When Derlin was my age, they say he memorized the books he read. It's not normal for a child to want to be a wise man when he's still without his horns. I don't need him to be a wise man. All I want is for him to grow up and be healthy. He'll have his fill of studies once his horns grow in. Really, who raised this boy anyway? Now just hold on there. You raised him, remember? When I was young, I used to humbly listen to what the wise men said. But not as much as this boy. Even before his horns having grown, it seems all he does is think, is think. I keep telling him, telling him that all he has to do is eat well, play a lot, and sleep, and the horns will grow in, grow in time. But he wants more. One of these days, I'm going to have to develop some more goofy voices. Ah, oh, Milda, we ain't never gonna going back to the lower village, and them petrified folks ain't coming back. Well, Darlin wanted to find out if that's the case, so he sent me to the Tower of Doom, I guess. So the same thing is happening to the Lanians, but they don't understand it either. Figures. Some has left kinfolk there. I suppose they ain't gonna see him again. Did I go in here? House 2. I don't think I did. Why, well, that boy went right to sleep after his supper without reading the thing. He must be coming of age. He looks different, too. How wonderful. He'll soon be an adult like the rest of us. 
<sighs> that meal made me sleepy. I could usually read at least a book after eating, but um, I can't keep my thoughts together and I keep forgetting things. <sighs> Lately, I'm so sleepy. It seems my son is coming of age. I know what it's like. I was the same way when I came of age. The only thing a father can do at a time like this is to stand back and watch over him. Pretty soon he will grow horns of knowledge and he'll finally be a real adult. In Lane we call these changes the coming of age. If you really get into it, this process of coming of age has many fascinating aspects. Looks like it'll be a while. Let's go, Jess. So is it these horns filled with knowledge that make us an adult? Can this question be answered? Hey, hey Jess, I'm out of here. Oh, rap. You don't like learning, do ya? Well, they do say the, chil the children's do learn. Hello? Sure is hot today. If it's this hot already, this summer will be a scorcher. D hot? Th this is hot? Hot as blazes. Been a while since it's been this hot. Yep, at this rate, summer will be a real scorcher. These Lanian gals don't wear much. Their skin must be so thick they don't need, they don't know if it's hot or cold. What, no hits from, from Milda there? Oh, okay. Hey, y'all are from Cafu, ain't ya? What do you want here? What are you up to? Huh? I think I heard something. Nah, it can't be. It's a woman and I never listen to women. Oh. Milda, Fina, you have, you have Justin's permission to beat the snot out of him. Just what do y'all mean by that? I never heard such talk in my life. Didn't your mama teach you right? Guess she didn't. Guess she was just as bad as y'all are. I can tell I can. My, my, I've never seen anyone from Cafu in the village of Lane before. Maybe it's a first. So? You want to throw me out or something? Well, now why would we... Why would I want to do some... Such a thing to a mere child? You young'uns have come to vi fa Come so far to visit. No one would dream of kicking y'all out. Just what do y'all mean by that? I never heard such... Oh, I guess that is. My old lady had rocks in her head, so she's right where she belongs, in the petrified forest. So now what are you looking at? You got a problem? Huh? You got a problem? Y your mother? Petrified? I I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Hey, don't sweat it, okay? It's not like my old man and old lady died or something, okay? I, I guess not. Old Master Doylin sits all day like a bump on a log. Once in a while he'll sigh something about a lent or liete and mumble on to himself. I don't understand anything he says, but he sure gets worked up about that liete girl. Say, y'all come up from the foothills now, didn't you? Y'all see the ocean? Sure did. Actually, we arrived on a steamer. Well, ain't that the best? My daddy reads me books and he showed me a picture of the ocean, but I ain't never seen the real thing. Sure would like to. It's not that far from here. They say the ocean is much, much bigger than our lake, and the water's salty too, right? Yeah, that's right. You know a lot about it. Yep, my daddy read, it, read to me all about it, so I know everything there is to know. But I ain't never seen it with my own eyes. What's it like to swim in it? Bet it's not like our lake. Summer's a coming, and that old sun and that old sun will be strong enough to dry these here fish out. In winter, the lake's frozen solid. That's when we can ice fish and pull out a year's worth of fish. Once we fish them out, the, we dry them in the summer sun and eat them and eat them the next winter. How do they not go bad? Once these fish dry out, they'll keep a while. That way, we eat fish year round. Ugh. I'm sorry, people. Daddy told me about those guys called spirits who live everywhere in our world. The spirits give us strength and help us be happy. But you know, these real bad guys come around and gobble up the spirits if they see them. Sometimes these real bad guys come around and gobble up the spirits if they see them. What bad guys? Okay, that's the same thing that we already read. Ain't he the cutest thing? But being a boy, he can only play like this when he's little. Pretty soon he'll be a growing real sudden-like, and he'll come of age before you know it. 
Then it'll be too dangerous for him to walk around the village and cross the bridges. He'll have to get all his playing in now while he's little. I want him to play as much as he wants. Because after he comes of age, he'll be just like my husband, cooped up all day reading. Mommy, Mommy, the ice is melted, so can we swim? You gotta be kidding me. I like the winter because we can skate on the ice, but now we can swim, so I like it better. When the snow is melting, it's fun to swim and cool off a little. How about it, Justin? Want to swim? You're not serious, are you? You really swim in this? As long as it's not ice, anyone can swim in it, can't they? Yeah, right. It's fun to swim in the lake. Come on, let's go swimming. Go all the way up the up this road and you'll come to the Rainbow Spring. But it's closed because of the monsters. Our sanctuary is also up there too. But we don't want people wandering up there so it's closed. Sorry, we can't let you go through. If y'all get permission from Master Dorlin, y'all can go through. Okay, looks like that's what we're going to be doing at some point. House of Dorlin the Wise. Alright, well we don't want to talk to him yet. So we have a Darlin, a Durlin, and a Dorlin. So when we come back, we will start out by talking to Durlin. See you next time, everyone.